We're going to be taking a look at another example of broken access control. We'll be making use of this lab, user role controlled by request parameter. The idea is there is an admin panel at forward slash admin, and naturally only administrators should be able to access the admin panel. Now there is a security control in place, which is the admin must have a specific cookie. The problem in this case is that the cookie is extremely easy to forge. Okay, without further ado, let's take a look at the lab. I've noticed we're given some user credentials for a regular user, which we'll be making use of. The first thing we'll do is head to forward slash admin. This is our ultimate objective to gain access to this panel. Notice it mentions admin interface only available if logged in as an administrator. So for now, let's log in as a regular user. And let's see what happens if we try to access the admin panel while logged in as a regular user. Once again, we get the message admin interface only available if logged in as an administrator. Okay, let's fire up burp and let's inspect this request. So here we can see the get request to forward slash admin while logged in as a regular user. And we can see that we have inside our cookie a session ID, but we also have another key value pair, admin equals false. The logical thing to try here is to see what happens if we change admin to true. So let's forward this request to the repeater. Let's head to the repeater tab. Let's change the value of admin equals false to admin equals true. Let's send that. Let's render the HTML response. You can see we clearly have access now to the admin panel. If we now right click and choose request in browser, we can choose in original session. We can copy this URL that's given to us by burp. If we head back to Firefox, we can simply paste the URL and it sends that exact same request along with the tampered cookie value. You can see we have access to the admin panel. Now the objective of the lab is to delete Carlos. So let's see what happens if we follow that link. And once again, we get the message admin interface only available if logged in as an administrator. So let's head back to burp. We can see inside the admin folder here, we have a copy of our delete request. And we can see with our delete request, it's a get request, by the way, which is debatable whether it should be a get request since it's modifying backend databases. We can see that the admin value has been reverted to false as part of our cookie. No problem, we'll just send that to the repeater. We can once again tamper with the value. This time we are sending that direct get request to forward slash admin forward slash delete with the query string set to username equals Carlos. Let's send that, we get a 302 found response. And if we take a look at our lab, we'll see that we've solved the lab. So let's think briefly about why this type of vulnerability might arise. There is a security protocol in place. We can't access the admin panel without the correct cookie. The problem is, and this may be what the developer has forgotten in this case or didn't realize, is that it's very easy to tamper with cookie values, trivial in fact. So we can simply change the value of the cookie when we send a HTTP request to the server. This is why security protocols should instead be controlled by something that's non-forgeable like a session ID. It's very unlikely that I'm going to guess the session ID of an admin user. So while it's still trivial for an attacker to change this value, they simply won't know what the session ID is and hence can't forge the cookie that would belong to a legit administrator. However, if the security is based upon a key value pair admin equals true or false, it's very, very easy to change the value from false to true. If we take an inexperienced developer, they simply might not realize that it's possible for an attacker to change the value of the cookie in the manner in which we've just done so right now. They might assume that because the value of this cookie was initially set in their back end code, then there's nothing that an attacker can do to tamper with this value. But as we've seen, it's very straightforward. So any security protocols must trigger off something complex like the session ID, which is non forgeable. Of course, there are ways to try and capture and attack the session ID as well, but they're much more complex than simply changing a false value to true. 
All right, hope it was helpful. Thanks very much for watching.